you doing everybody? Welcome back. Time for another shave review, this time with the Holy Black's Tangerine Creeper. So this is part of the Holy Black's Tallow Creeper line. Um, it's a very small batch uh, shaving soap. The other, the other one that they have uh, is Lavender Creeper. Um, according to rumor, this might be the last Creeper uh, that they make. They're not planning on making any more. Um, they do this in small batch releases. Uh, this was uh, given a midnight, midnight release on uh, sometime in the middle of the month. Like, I don't remember the exact date. And uh, yeah, it sold out in seven minutes. Um, 300 units sold out in seven minutes, so high demand. <clears throat> um, resultantly, the price in the second market is uh, is pretty exorbitant. Uh, but uh, all the same, uh, we're going to go ahead and get, get with it. This does come in the same tub as the, uh, the Lavender Creeper. So if you look at it right here, um, beautiful graphics. Absolutely gorgeous packaging. Uh, the way they shipped it was great. Um, the only issue I had with the shipping was the aftershave bottle, which is uh, right here. I'm going to grab that. Is right here is the, the seal on the aftershave bottle uh, did pop, um, but I, I wasn't expecting a perfect uh, arrival just due to the international travel that it was having to do. Um, the only complaint I have about this, um, I have two. One, um, I have no way to seal this container. Uh, like a lot of the screw top lids or even some of the pressure stopper lids um, and number two it is on the smaller side excuse me so uh, not a deal breaker by any stretch of the imagination you can still load off it just fine all right so for today's shave all right uh, oh so as far as scent notes um, scent notes are right there it's just tangerine essential oil and culotta. Now culotta is a replacement for uh, menthol. It does not have any scent. It is scent free. It is what they use in e-cigarettes uh, to provide the cooling sensation that in them. Uh, it's a bit stronger than menthol, uh, truth be told, but it takes a little bit. It rolls up on you a little bit uh, slower than menthol does. And then as far as the ingredients go, here's the ingredient list. Uh, it is a tallow soap, but this is an extremely short uh, ingredient list. Very, very small. Uh, very reminiscent of something like Martin DeCondre, who has, a, I think, seven, seven ingredients. So, all right. Um, what we're going to be using today is we're going to be using our Shave Mac Ebonite brush. This is a 26 millimeter two band silver tip. It's already been soaked and wrung out. And uh, the razor. We're going to be using Ali's blade. This is a 7 8 extra hollow ground, bellied hollow ground, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> uh, Camasori. It's a Western style Camasori. Um, yeah, so show you guys what we're doing for, for lather here. Alright, let me step over here. Ta -da. I have not bloomed this. This is an extremely soft soap. Um, so I'm just taking a mildly damp brush. And I just want to pick some of this soap up out of here. Um, it is a, like I said, the, the lavender creeper I have I made the mistake of blooming it and it kind of turned it into a, a cream. So I'm not wanting to do that to this. And you can see how quickly I'm loading, how quickly it's loading right into the brush. I mean, like I said, I soaked the brush, took it out, wrung it out, and it shook it four times. So it really didn't have all that much water in it. There we go. Maybe an ultra, all truth be told, maybe a 15 second load, maybe 20 second load. And I probably could have gotten away with a 10 second load if I didn't stop those few times. So let's build the lather. The smell on this is, I mean, it's tangerines. 
it's it's awesome. Um, I know a lot of the guys were thinking, oh man, this smells like the orange cream sickles, and and I can I can smell that. Uh, me personally, um, I don't smell the creamy the creaminess of the the cream sickle. Um, but uh, that's not to say that y'all sniffer is wrong. Um, I get more of the straight tangerine slash orangey smell. Um, it's, it's so nice. Um, it's, uh, really excited to get this on the face and using it. Um, Yeah, the previous release of the Lavender Creeper just happened on the exact wrong day. Uh, Jim Wild West was uh, was awesome enough to uh, to grab me a soap um, and ship it out to me. Um, yeah, it, it just happened on the exact wrong day. I had something I had to get up early for. Uh, not that early. And, yeah. I, I was going to miss that release, so he was kind enough to pick up one for me. However, this one I was able to stay up, and and I actually got in on the release, luckily. Sorry about that. Battery went low. I forgot to put my phone back on the charger last night. So, that's okay. We've got enough juice to be able to do what we need to do. So, I think we're about there. The soap. Not quite the booger ladder, but booger ladder that I normally like. Um, a little water will probably get it closer. There we go. All right, so <clears throat> I think I got everything ready. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my pre shave. Um, I knew I'm gonna. I did strop the razor last night, but I'm gonna strop it again real quickly. Um, and I'll be right back. All right, back. All right, guys. Let's get right into this. So lathering up. Um, this is quite nice. Um, if you guys don't know, I do lather. Put lather on my face and put a hot towel over it. I uh, I scrub the lather in prior to doing that. Um, kind of like how Dave puts the excess or lathers up and <clears throat> rubs the lather in with his hands to activate the sebaceous glands, which are at the base of your follicles, to release your natural oils, which help soften your hairs on top of the acidic element and heat and water of the hot towel and the soap. Not bad. It's a little thinner than I usually like it, but all these blade. This is the second shave on this edge, this uh, J-Nut edge I put on it. And if you guys remember, this was a, uh, a challenge to hone because It says <clears throat> nickel and brass, or copper, excuse me, forged into the tang. And for geometry's purposes, blade geometry purposes, he took it down a little too far. Um, I 
Aesthetically, it looks beautiful. But once I figured that out, it was easy to say, okay, let's get some. Ooh, did catch myself. <laughs> I'll take a picture of that from Murphy's Gallery. Now, once I realized where the uh, geometric flaw was, it was too easy to, to remedy that. With just some creative tape layering to equalize the uh, width of the spine. Test residual on this side of the face. Oh, I thought I'd be bleeding more. Yeah. Runs off. I mean, there is, there's some residual slickness, but it's not as smooth as and cushioned as, as a lot of other soaps. Probably put it in the uh, 7.5 to 8 range, maybe. Um, it's there, and you can do you can you can do water only touch us. It's just not as smooth as some of the top residual soap bases. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead finish up my other two passes, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, all done. Just finished up the post shave. Um, the only thing I'll say is we're going to match it up with Clinique Happy. Um, so, now Clinique Happy is a uh, it's pretty weak as far as silage and longevity are concerned. So, I just, I'm spraying all over the place. So, usually, I at least try and hit <coughs> back here and behind the ears, collars, shoulders. Um, not that it matters with this fragrance because it's nothing but all right so we also used the uh the aftershave uh that went on and it's starting to cool off now and it feels really good so all right tangerine creeper from the holy black what do i think well i didn't get honestly i didn't get as good a lather that as i did with the the lavender creeper or lavender creeper all right did i say tangerine creeper before I don't know. But with the Tangerine Creeper, I did not get as good a lather as I did with the Lavender Creeper. Um, I think using it, uh, using it more as I go, um, that'll be fine and I'll be able to get that lather that I really liked with the uh, Holy Black Lavender Creeper. Um, uh, truth be told, I mean, the Lavender Creeper scored a 51 um, after one use. Um, and this. I'm not going to give it any scores just for the simple fact that um, I, I don't think that this really, uh, this was a, a good indication of how it performs. Um, I know this tallow base is, is performs much better than what I experienced today. Um, that being said, it still uh, performed really well. It was still really slick. The residual slickness was okay. Um, lather, it lathered up pretty easily. Um, so there's a lot of good things about it that um, I, I think with subsequent use will, will come out. So I'm not going to go ahead, I'm not going to give it a score right now. Um, just because I, the, I've used the soap base before and it's performed much, much better. Uh, so, I mean, it, if you had to press me for a number right now, a total score, I, I would say somewhere is in the 45 to 48 range. Um, uh, maybe eh, 47 48 I think it, it would be realistic but yeah so Ollie's blade today it gave me a workout um, got a nick right there in the first pass nick right there in the second pass so 
uh, yeah, it, it Ollie's blade was uh, was going after me today. I had to be on my game. Um, and then we followed it up with the aftershave splash, matching aftershave splash, which is still cooling. That's really really awesome. Um, and uh, we topped off with some Clinique eau, uh, Clinique Happy eau de, eau de Toilette. So yeah, if you guys haven't come check us out, so where can you get Tangerine Creeper? You can't. Um, they only made 300. They sold out in seven minutes. You can find some on the secondary market if you're willing to pay the price. Um, they are going for very, very high prices. Um, and honestly, in my opinion, I mean, this is barely worth it uh, retail. It, it's worth it for the, the, the feel. I mean, it's, it's, it's a really good soap. But as far as paying that much on the secondary market for it, um, that if you know what, it's worth what you it's worth what you're willing to pay for it. So if you're willing to pay that much for it, then it's worth it to you. That's that's all I can say. Um, but yeah, you got to go ahead and check out the secondary market. Check your BSTs. All right, come by. Check us out at the Shaving Cadre www.shavingcadre.com and see you there.